Blessed are the peacemakers. People act like different as soon as you win it, man. I know this shit ain't no different. You pull up in cars, you act like it's yours, but we know that shit have just rented. Benefited it out, we the ones that your mommy wants. You a bitch, should have stayed in the house. Don't open your mouth. We lurk in the swamps like being in the south. So count your days. Hold up, let me count the ways you gon' pay. When I spot you, I'm coming straight through to your face, no fourth place. So don't come up missing. Welcome back, peeps. Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, I have no idea what we have left. We did that bank robbery with uh, the amazing Karen and the infamous freaking Bill Williamson. And everybody was there. We def definitely destroyed that episode. It was an amazing episode, full of action. I hope this one will be just the same as usual. Um, so guys, I don't want to talk for too long just before we start. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think down in the comments of this episode and the previous episode if you joined in before. If you haven't, do so please and leave a big thumbs up. Uh, just remember to go down in the description below and if you need any controller grips or any fade grips from their actual website, just remember... Put my discount code, which I got your back covered. It's right in the description below. You'll be able to get yourself one of these babies or any other babies you want, such as controller grips. Just put down my description, well, my description, my discount code in the description below at the checkout, and you got yourself an 8% discount. We're no favorite you people. I'll check again. Subscribe if you're new. Hit smash that notification button because I really appreciate it, and you'll get my upload on point. And we're no favorite you people. Let's go. Alright, back at camp, peeps. Now, if I remember from last time, man, love this spot. It is just my spot. Though, guys, if I remember from last time, we must have two new missions, and one of them is at the camp right now. So, we'll get on with that one. Oh, they're both at the camp. So, one is, oh yeah, Trelawney, because obviously we've uh, we freed him from the bounty hunters in the previous episode before the previous. That made sense. Well, episode 25, we freed Trelawney. Episode 26... I am so getting confused. Yeah, episode 26 was the episode where we do the bank robbery with Bill Williamson. We go all the way to Valentine and risk our life. And uh, we pretty much uh, go into the bank with amazing acting from Karen. Guys, if you haven't done so, go check it out. I already said it. And uh, yeah, we freed Trelawney in a previous episode before that one. And we got Micah Bell. Now, I know that Trelawney came before Micah. So we'll do a Trelawney episode this time um, instead of the Micah. And I think we're going to leave this outfit because I am looking smooth right now. I'm not going to lie. The only thing we must do, honestly, is... The only thing we must do is eat something for our dead eye core. Now, the dead eye core can only be done with a snake oil. Have you got an open snake oil? Please tell me if you've got an open snake oil. Thank you very much. Very nice. Um, and we're going... Yes, we are going to go to... Oh, we can run. It's because we're just outside camp. Yeah, we'll do Trelawney, guys. Um, it was up. What Are time is busy, it? Arthur? I am not busy. That's, I was just coming to you, my friend. Let's greet him. Yeah, we'll start Trelawney's and then we'll go for Micah. Well, well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because That's a I good think metaphor. I, I found something interesting. Yeah? As have usual. Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's wrong what's with the, the dialogue? With stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. Guys, Arthur's face well, is stuck. If you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Why Where is... Where find this friend of yours? Oh, now your face got because unstuck. What can possibly go wrong, wrong here, yeah. Well, Lead that, the way and we'll find out. Guys, I didn't want to ruin a cutscene, but that face was scaring the shit so, out of me. Talking of men of words, not action. Yo, 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 my last suit's gone. Okay. What is wrong? Am I receiving all the bugs today? You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. Alright, so How why isn't it giving end up down here anyway? Oh yeah, we're gonna have to I go here. Ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things. 
I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. God damn it! I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. My guy disappeared. He was you meant know, to help us with the freeing of Sean, wasn't he? Really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Wait. He said, where exactly are we going? And you didn't finish what we freaking... Finish up your sentence, bro. This this mission is probably... Guys, have you received the amount of bugs I'm receiving? First is Arthur's face, and that face was just... It was haunting. It was... It was scary. His face was not moving, and the words were coming out of his mouth. There was no expression. He's, he did not blink once. I caught some retro Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. Yeah, bro, I wasn't gonna do the talking. You didn't even finish off. Where exactly are we going? Where exactly are we doing? Yeah, I know we're robbing a stagecoach, as if for the rest of the freaking missions in this game, which I'm not saying they're repetitive. They're very nice. They're very nicely done. They've they got their own differences within missions, but. Yeah, he's looking All good. In. He's always looking out. smart, so he's very believable. Andy. Very believable. And you, friend? As they say, I always look the part. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No Listen to the way he speaks. How could you not believe this? Arthur, this man could say you're a chimpanzee. What I do? Pay Alden? Why not? There. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like Discouraged that. Discouraged men. Goodbye, yeah. Should I Sounds say good. Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> what the hell was that? What even happened? All right, let's inspect this document, shall we? Or maybe not. What the hell was that? I Yo, well, that's what I said. See that pantomime. River road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay, I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Hell no! What the hell did you just do back there? You play, you snake, Trelawney. Damn. Guys, yeah, going back to that cutscene, that was freaking me out, but there was, I didn't know there was that many bugs okay, in this game, especially that this type way. of bug where the expressions and these lips froze for a whole cutscene and the words were coming out of his mouth. I thought there was something wrong with my game, something wrong with the recording. I was like, no, don't do this to me now. But no, okay, fair enough. What did I Guys, down in the comments, let me know if that happened to you, if any of the cutscenes, if that one. workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. 
could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize. I mean, we went back to Valentine to rob a bank after what we did. Boy. What's wrong with Strawberry? All this trouble. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. Yeah, guys, man. And then and then and then the, the, the face unfroze. As soon as the cutscene ended, that face just started speaking again. His lips started moving again. It's like, bro, you having a it was like he's it was like he's having a facial paralysis and then randomly. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. Oh, we got a lockpick! <laughs> yes! And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, old, and very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Okay, so he's teaching us how to rob a stagecoach. Not the there same usual way. Right we time. are... Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. All right, he's teaching us how to do it stealthily and not actually rob a stagecoach with threatening people as we usually do. And we unlock the lock bit for once. So we are allowed to lock... Ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you, or you'll scupper the whole thing. So good, we can actually look at Trelawney's point of view by pressing the touchpad. We can actually look at Trelawney's point of view, the cinematic with Trelawney. That's so good. I hope you don't mind my singing. Not at all. I'm preparing Preparing for a show. What, hell of an actor, guys. Did you say a show? It's a small benefit. Whoa. I flattered. So we can actually, that's so good. We can look at Trelawney's point of view and actually go into the cinematic. I hope this one doesn't bug out with my expressions um, like we did in a previous cutscene. And we follow. Look at that. And we do everything by itself. It will actually follow by himself. And we can exit the cutscene by pressing a touchpad again. Yeah, we'll keep it in the cutscene, guys. That's amazing. You can choose whether to have a cutscene or not. Could, could you? It's, it's such a small show. Would you see something for me? I, I'm looking for a mess. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. <laughs> She's doing her me, me, me's. She's training. Holy shit! And it's in Italian. Let's go. All right. So do I sneak up now? Yep. Break. We got. We got. A okay. So it's a lock break. I already had this. So I bought it from the fence. Take the money pile. Come on. Then we got all day. Leave undetected. And we go. Very slowly. In Italian. I know it's in Italian. I can understand these. Pack. Alright, I guess. 
We are going back into Trelawney's point of view. The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say it, but Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. Magnifico. Yeah, yeah. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. It's good play. He's just taught us how to rob a coach silently without pointing the guns as usually as we do. Basically, we got taught how to rob a coach early in the chapters, and now we got taught how to rob a coach very stealthily. We left it open, though, so we unlocked the lock break, apparently, but although you can buy the lock break previously in the chapters, you can buy it at the fence, like I did. Nicely done. Bro, I've got finesse all the time, even with my gun. Don't even at me. All right, so what are we doing? Why is this still... Well done, sir. Well Thank you. Done. It was easy. easy. You, you know, confidence. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you All soon, right, we can Arthur. see Alden and get actually missions from him and Rob Stagecoaches as a side mission. Damn. Total care. Total care. Total take. 5,000 we got in total now, peeps. We are earning the loot. Let's eat something because we have the lost weight. Uh, something dead eye and health. Salted beef. Why not? All right. Damn. Just taught us how to rob a coach silently, stealthily. How you do it with a bit of finesse. Now, guys, I think it's time to... Uh, anything popped up on a map unless we go to Micah because there's nothing popped up on a map. Yeah, we're going to go to Micah if we manage to go to the post office uh, in the meantime. Um, pay off our bounty. We'll go back to the post office quickly. I want to pay off the bounty in Valentine, just in case we get into that area of Micah. You never know. Um, but damn, guys, I'm, I'm loving this mission. I'm loving this episode. It started off nicely, and uh, I want to. I need to, my horse needs to eat. My horse needs to eat. I'm just realised my horse needs to eat. There you go, baby. I know. I keep. I keep. I keep forgetting about you. I know. I know. I know. You can hit. There you go. He, he's he's apologised for me. Sorry, girl. She didn't need any food, though. Her cores weren't that down. Yeah, guys, so we've unlocked uh, the stagecoach robberies even near Valentine, near Valentine, near Rhodes. So we can actually go and rob a stagecoach, and now we can do with the lock break. I don't think, even though you, un you unlock the lock break early, I don't think it would let you break the lock behind it with the lock break yet. You actually have to do a mission to unlock it. Um, but any, I've been using the lock break or kicking the door down, but if you want to do it silently, hey there, you can brilliant. actually use the lock break which is just as useful oh. and I've done that before can I hitch somewhere around here yeah so that's how it is peeps we've done it we've actually Trelawney is good because one he one he's elegant and an elegant man knows how to do things nicely done so as bad. you've just as he's just proved with finesse and two we did it without getting you know causing a commotion usually you know raising our guns and uh, starting a fight with everybody now, we can't clean our guns because I can see the rust on my gun. Plenty more folks want this job I can see the rust don't. on my volcanic pistol right now, and it's just its not looking nice. Have we got any posts to collect? Train oh, tickets pay bounty. Been a while since you were around this way. Alden! Not really. Oh my, you are a bad person. Yo, this guy's freaking me out. You are a bad person. I am. So be careful what you do around me, boy. You're not really old. All right, see you later, boy. If you've got any other work, you know what I'm talking about. Talking about talking to me. Thanks for yeah, your thanks for your assistance. Talking to me about being a bad person. You're selling out information. You're giving out information for money. With stagecoaches full of money. You're giving out potential information that could get those people killed. So what are you talking about, brother? All right, let's go to our mission, boys. Let's go to our mission. Boys and girls, let's go to the mission. That was actually fun, I'm not going to lie. That was real fun. Robbing a stagecoach. It's my type of style, you know. I don't like waving the guns around uh, shit every time. It, I mean, it's it's pretty good because it, get, it, gets, uh, it gets you some action for the game. But it's not my style. My style is simply that, you know. Make it... Make it stealthy. Distract the man. I go in, break the lock. You know, lock pick it. Even though I could have done that early. Um, I wish I could have done that from the start because we unlocked it from the start, but it doesn't matter. Um, and it's simple. And then you got yourself some money. You got yourself a good share. I mean, five thousand dollars. 
They didn't come out of thin air, peeps. I honestly, I honestly always thought, like, how do you make that much money in a game um, where it doesn't let you make... This game, you can only make a, a big amount by doing the main missions. If not, you're going to have to do these side stuff that actually require you to do the big things, such as the legendary animals, you want to sell the pelts, you want to sell... You just, you're going to have to grind to make that money. Or you find yourself some gold bars, go for the treasure hunting. I've done a lot of the treasure hunter challenges and uh, found a lot of the maps and found a lot of the treasures at the start in Chapter 2, but... It's, it's, you got to grind it. With any other game, it's just like this. It's just like any other game. you got to grind your, your way, boys. you got to grind your way, boys. All right, boys and girls, we're at back of the... What's up, Bill? Is that Bill? Yeah, that's Bill. It's time to go to Micah. This ain't going to end pretty. It's Micah, guys. What do you think? I mean, it, it's, it's, it's bait that it's going to... So I'm going to change the outfit because it's not the right outfit for Micah. Yeah, I've got all of these guys. You can get these at the... I think I've showed you in uh, some of the previous episodes. Go check them out. Uh, I think it's about episode 6 or 7 where I buy all the masks um, and I show you all the masks. So... But I, if you guys want me to make any videos on other builds or any other videos on builds or even outfits, guys, just put it down in the comment below. Put down a comment below and ask me for it because I'll be willing and I'll be more than willing to make a video on or even any other tip in the tip playlist, in the new tip playlist, people. Just let me know and I'll make a videos on any of oh, the executioner hood. Damn, that looks good. And we've got a canvas sack hood, which obviously that's for the, you know, Ku Klux Klan. Um, and then we've got cloth sack. We ain't going to wear none of that now. None of that now. Right now, we want to change our outfit. Are we changing to this? The Sam Chisholm? This is what we previously had. We need to shave again. Is it grown back that early? Really? In that short amount of time, it's grown back. We're going to wear the Outlaw, the variation of the Outlaw, because I've made this one myself. Um, yeah, we'll wear the variation of the Outlaw, peeps, for this mission. Variation. With a red hat, um, red boots. And red gloves. Looking good. Looking good. Let's go. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging where's us Dutch? ever deeper into shit. And why did Mo Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. What the hell's wrong with piss? <sighs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking. And they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? They're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get, Get shot, shot, yeah. You ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any yeah, of this. Yeah, me neither. It's a chance. What's the point of this? You gotta take. For what, though? For... I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Ouch. Here comes the truth. Then he killed... a woman I loved dear. Ouch. The truth's coming out. But now you love Molly, right? As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Well, why are we doing this parlay thing? What's benefit for the gang? What's the benefit? Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. 
I knew this. This is going to go to shit, by the way. Just saying. I can already predict. I, I did good to wear my outlaw outfit, peeps. Let's go. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go. Hey, I mounted then. up before you. Let's go. No, I don't want to play that in first person. Can we ask any questions? Probably to Dutch in a second. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us? Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Yo! Oh, come on! Great. This is all thanks to Dutch. Made me fool, you idiots. Yeah, wait for me. Bunch of melts. I gotta eat now. Not even funny, by the way. Cutting me up. Making me go on the freaking hilltop. Ruining the conversation, Dutch. You got a plan. From the look of them, I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon. All right, enough. where do I set up for my sniper in spot, though? Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. You I shut up a town. I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I, I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. What is wrong with this guy? Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. Yep. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como O'Driscoll might be. Here full we go. Of Motivational shit. speech, part 99. Of this great nation. Man, created Oh, God, evil. Dutch. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that? Not friend? really. Not really. But I need to eat. While you just talk bollocks, I'm just gonna eat. Nope. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when he eats. I don't know. Oh, when he repeats it. Try. All I ask is you try. Oh, you ask is I'm trying. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. Peeling off up ahead. Okay. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. Well, Dick. All right. All right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. All right. We got our sniper spot, peeps. Man, this episode has been full of bugs and full yeah. of shit. The re shit I've received this episode is unbelievable. Dutch cutting me up. 
We're going to have a peace parlay with the freaking O'Driscolls. Really? How is that going to turn out? How is that even logical? That's a gang that's been wanting to kill you. The shit. That, how, I, don't, I don't think I would ever get over someone killing my 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 brother. Sorry. And I ain't even got a brother. Hey, hey. All right, peeps. Let's get my horse. Not in the clear sight of that view of the rock because I want it to be killed. Um, have I got the freaking sniper on me? Lancaster and rare rolling block rifle. It's not the one I want. This is the rolling... Okay. But then again... No, we won this one with express bullets. Uh, rare rolling block rifle. Bolt action rifle. Springfield carbine. Which is the sniper? I think it's the, it's the rolling block. But this is the rare one. Damn. The rare one. There's not much difference between the rare and the normal one. I'm going to take my one because it's more trusted. But the express bullets will do just fine. Split point bullets. And then we've got the high velocity bullets. We're going to go for the express bullets. Alright. And then we've got the Lancaster repeat on the other side. And we'll just take a... I don't know. We'll take a Springfield or a Lancaster. No, we'll take a... We've got the bolt action. I forgot. Damn, we've got the, oh, we'll take the bow action just in case we want, uh, we, want, we want something with an extra kick. Yeah. So, wait a second. We want that rolling block to start off. The fire rate on... It's the, thing, the thing is, the bow action rifle has got a bigger fire rate than the rolling block. Um, so, I'm going to go... For, I'm going to start off with the rolling block. And then if shit gets high, I'm going to... You know, if shit gets hot, we're going to use the, uh, the Springfield. Are we taking out the binoculars? Yep. Yep, we are. They just got there. Hold to use binoculars. Let's watch our boys. And that bug. My guy just teletransported. Jesus, what's wrong with this game today? So that's the parley location. Why are there three people? There should be two, right? He's ready to use his guns. Look at that double... Double holster. He's ready to use it. We're watching the scene. We're watching the Hello, scenes Dutch. now, boys. It's been a while. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, watching these scenes. Gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. He's got a nice outfit, I'm not going to lie. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. Ouch. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. Ouch. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Is this a peace offering or not? Because I'm ready to take you out. <laughs> oh! Hell no, that's my observation point done. We just got you ain't dead, is Mother Fuck Nah that ain't happening, bro. We just got caught. Handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Can we strange times? Can we get up? They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. Alright, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Relax. I got him. No, you don't. No, you don't. Ouch! Did we just get shot? Oh hell no! We got shot twice, boys! We tried to escape him. Better not be losing weight after this. I'm still not dead! I tried to escape him, guys. I tried to. I tried to. What's going on? I don't want to die, man. Not Arthur. Don't die at me, please. I already went through John's death in the second, in the first one. Don't do this to me. Please don't die on me, boy. Don't die. 
Finally. Put his weapons over there. Oh, they're taking my equipment. I'll work for that shit. You better not do this to me, boys. They're taking my stuff. Ah! That's calm. Oh, we've been taken prisoner, guys. We've been taken prisoner. All for a peace offering. Obviously, it was a trap. Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Gomp. <laughs> How's the wound? How's the wound? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Point, I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Colm. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. Yup. We know about that. Are you? I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. How? He'll be so mad. How He'll did we... Raging over How here. did they know we were on that rock? We had everything sorted, every point covered, except our backs, our six. Arthur, I missed you. Oh, come on, man. Hit a vulnerable man, will you? That's what makes you a pussy. Not even funny. You do that when I'm when I'm not tied up. You see what happens. All right, let's see if we can escape. Come on, let's do this. Come on, come on, Dutch, come and save me. No, Dutch, you don't, because you'll get lured into a trap again. All right, we got a swing in the shackles. Swing to the left. Swing to the right, swing to the left to reach a, I think it was a, a, a knife or, oh, so grab the file. Can we do it? Yes. Got it. So it was swing to the right and to the left or swing left and right to grab the file. Uh, heat the file so then we can get the, we can get it hot to get the chains out. So heat the fire and we insert. Oh, we need to get the bullets out. Ouch. Ah, man. This is so not cool. All right. Position file. Twist file. How do we do this, peeps? I don't even know if I'm doing this right, peeps. Ouch. Did I get it? Did I get the bullet out? Gunpowder? Really? Did that help in those days, peeps? I don't know. Let's pour gunpowder on it. Alright, that's done. And now we burn it. Damn! Off a nosy shit, you know. Alright, let's raise the candle. Uh, Catarized wound. Okay, okay. Oh, holy shit! Shut your hole! I don't want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. You, you want to go home? Hold it's on, time. back in a minute. It's time to stealth kill. What the hell? Stealth kill. Stealth kill. Got him. Got him. Nice. Nice. 
throwing knife. Oh, damn. Guys, I think we're going to have to fight like this. So we catheterized the wound. We got the bullet out. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man. It's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. Oh, damn it. Hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of me. Get the throwing knife out, you spack. Prisoners out! Don't let them get... Nice. Now what do we do? We get a horse. Do we escape? Can I just not escape? The screws are uh, patrolling the roads around the cabin. Evade them and escape the area. Trying to. Trying to, brother. Trying to. I was going to take all of them out. I nearly missed that throwing knife shot. And we nearly nearly got caught, by the way. Prisoner out. My Prisoner out my ass. Alright, they're patrolling the roads. I can't see anything, guys. So annoying, this is. And if we drop just the slightest, we die. Let's keep it going. Can we not whistle for our horse? Our horse is there. It's on the map. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I was going to take all of them out. Now, that would have taken some real John Wick shit, guys. Um, to go in there and throw a knife them all. But I haven't got the time. As in, I want to escape. I want to get my gang, come back here and destroy them. Um, I just, you know, took out the essentials. Now I'm just trying to get out. Still looking wedged, though. I need to get my stuff, don't I? Yo, this is a cliff. Oh, there's a guy. 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 There's a guy right there. could probably get his stuff though, can we? Oh, that's a tree, Salve. Come on. Play the game. Get your head in the game, Salve. Here we go. Come on. Ouch. Did we just trip up? Did we just trip up? Oh, come on, girl. Get me home. Oh, man. My girl. She got me home. Come on, girl. Get me home. Come on, please. Please, horsey pie. This is the freaking most painful mission I've ever had to do. Is she dragging me? She knows the way home. Hopefully we don't get caught along the road by them. I need to get my stuff back from them. Honestly, this is so not cool. Someone give us a hand, please. Arthur! Arthur? Arthur! I told you it was a setup touch. Oh, my boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. I know hey, I did. Scrimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson. Mr. Morgan. Damn it. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. No, he ain't. We are not safe. You're safe now, Arthur. No, we ain't. Here's my camp, you're boys. Uh, that's pretty intense. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll sit be with okay, him. Mr. Morgan. Sit with him? I got oh. a gun wound, which I had to cure myself. Ain't nobody gonna do that to me, because I had to do that myself. I had to catheterize it, get the bullet out, and then... Well, no, get the bullet out, catheterize it, and burn it. Freaking gunpowder, peeps. Nobody did that for me. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. 
Well, not quite yet, River. Damn, my beard has grown. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Shoulder is uh, well, gotten worse, or has it not? Take care of yourself. You too. What I, it's what I do. I take care of myself, because ain't nobody going to take care of my sorry ass. True that. That shoulder must be still painful, though. It's only a few weeks. I'm the one who had to escape. The gang have replaced your stolen weapons. They're on your saddle. Wait. Wait. No. No. The gang have replaced my what now? Your beard won't grow any longer unless you use a hair tonic. Each Good morning, okay, that's fine. Uh, each use of hair tonic will allow your beard to grow a little bit longer. Okay, fair enough. My beard is freaking long. I need to shave. I need to take care of myself, boys. Let me check if my weapons are here, first of all. Um, oh, wait. I can't do that yet, just now. Alright, we'll go for a ride. We'll go for a ride quickly. Go outside camp. I need to check my stuff. So, what missions have we got now? Is that Bill Gray? Again? No, Bill Williamson, back in town. Um, any strangers popped up on the map? Nope. No strangers. Guys, we're going to end it there because that was freaking fun and painful to watch your protagonist, your hero, nearly freaking die again. That's the last thing I want to go through is another freaking, you know, death. Another death from, from you know, the biggest protagonist there. And and I just don't want it. I've, I've went, I went for it the first one and, and I know he's going to die. John's going to die. I don't know what's going to happen to off and I don't want to know. I don't want to know. But from the way it looked like there, I thought, I thought it was going to die. And just the last thing I want, hit for him to die, peeps. That's the last thing I want. Um, but Dutch wasn't coming to save me. I had to escape all by myself. Sort the wound out. Uh, take the bullet out, cauterize it. You know, burn it with gunpowder. Which that looked freaking painful. It was hard to do as well. And then stealth... Make my way stealthily out of the compound. Which I nearly got caught, by the way. To, to be precise. And then, and then get back to camp with my girl. My horse cared more about me than any of them. They just put me on a freaking bed. That's what we call a gang. They ain't, they ain't love to me, boys and girls. Anyway, guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, leave a big thumbs up. Down in the comments, let me know if you received the same kind of bugs as me in the first cutscene of that first mission with uh, Trelawney. That was mad. That face just not moving. That was really mad. But, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. No further ado, smash that thumbs up. And uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, the notification button, guys. Smash the notification button. I really really appreciate it because you get my video on point. Um, don't, and uh, don't mind me and my memory, which is just gone right now. And obviously, guys, go down in the description below. You'll find my discount code. Um, smash it and uh, put it. Smash it. Seriously, I can't speak. I can't speak nor remember anything I'm going to say. So, guys, shove that freaking description or the discount code within the description in uh, the checkout. And you'll get that 8% discount on any controller grips if you do want it. Um, and you also get these babies, these plain t-shirts. Um, they've also got like hoodies and other t-shirts. So, guys, yeah, just check it out and you'll see it. But no further ado, people, I will see you in the next one. How it is don't mean it's how it has to be This is what the uninspired testifiers fail to see Jealousy results from being that which others fail to be And if it means you're not with me, that honestly sounds fair to me I do this for my father, who I've only seen From time to time in my dreams I do this for you, I do this for my mother Who's finally clean